Welcome back to Nugget Garage. This week we're putting Scott's Supra back on the dyno to make more, slightly less horsepower than the VL because it'll never get there. Um, changed wheels from your backwards tyre that was deliberately put on wrong. <laughs> they were push around tyres. So we spaced these out 10 mil. We've put 16 by nines on the back. Chris actually did some work and- I didn't. He did some of the work, he painted them. I had to do all the masking and crap. Anyway. Um, so oh. last week we sort of ran it up on the dyno on 45% ethanol and ran out of boost control at about 16 pounds of boost. It was fairly laggy, coming on at about 6,000 revs. <laughs> yeah. So since then, um, I've put it back up in the hoist. We've put all of the wastegate spring in it. Yeah, so I was thinking that maybe it was making pound back pressure because it was making about one or two pounds of boost at 4,000 and then doing nothing until about five and a half and then going for the roof. So yep. maybe it was blowing the gates open, maybe not. Uh, what else we've done? I've put a nitrous kit on it. Yes. 100 shot and I actually tested that this morning, stalling it up and it comes up. And it works. So I'm definitely going to be right there. You should be right, yeah. It doesn't help me on the street, but I don't, <laughs> I don't drive like an idiot on the street. Um, so tonight we're gonna basically run it on ethanol, 85% 80, ethanol, yeah. or 80% ethanol. Um, these injectors in this are 850 to 1150s, so I'm running about 75 pound yeah, so base pressure, it's so limiting factor. it's probably gonna limit that and just in case it gets close to something that's impressive, I changed to a wet nitrous kit. <laughs> Idea is I've got enough pump, I can add 100 horsepower worth of fuel with a nitrous. <laughs> I shouldn't do it, but <laughs> that's what you got to do sometimes. It'll be right. It'll be fine. And mm. um, while we're here, we'll answer a question on the motor too. People have asked about what's in the motor, what what's the specs of the motor, and all the rest of it. All right. So it's a stock block one UZ, 20 thou over, standard crank, Argo rods, Ross pistons. It's got a larger ring gap. Um, they're a lot like a Kelford 286 advertised yeah, version. Yeah. Camshaft. They've got Supertech valve springs and tyre or chrome molly retainers, I can't remember. We've drilled it out and put RB25 head studs in it. Um, other than that, it's stock. The heads aren't ported. The inlet manifold is stock. Throttle body the throttle stock. body is stock. The distributors are stock. The coils are stock. The 5.5 mil ignition leads are stock. Yeah. <laughs> Three or four people sent me pictures of melted rotor buttons this week after last week's video. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how the hell that happens. Um, maybe we'll find out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not relying on the coils to do the work on their own. They're actually not even working as a coil. I'm using a M&W 140 odd millijoule CDI yeah. box, just hammering them voltage. That's yeah. why I had to use the special grounded proper wiring for it because otherwise everything will go chaos with the 80,000 volts out yeah. going down that yeah. line. Um, the original build plan didn't really, well, the power glide only has a V8 planetary in it, so I can't really go spastic on it because yeah. it's a heavy car, it's not going to so like never that. catch the VL. But Ever. I'm going to try my hardest to get past the VL tonight. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look how shiny these are. Oh, my Don't see any chrome dress rings on there, mate. I can't, I've ordered them. <laughs> you reckon I can put a pursuit room center cup in there? <laughs> Feels like I only just put these wheels on about 30 minutes, 30 minutes ago, eh? <laughs> Good spacer. It's a hub centric man, it's, it's a good spacer. Look at it. It's designed for being hub centric. Finally, I can get rid of all of the Nissan nuts. Well, how am I tuning so many Nissans lately? Because they break all the time, so they have to rebuild them and then retune them. Duh. Because <laughs> RB life. 
Okay, we can't move power. Fuck. Oh, oil pump failure. set up all the uh, non-COVID pressure sensors, taking all the boost control out of it because it's the non the non-COVID pressure. Yeah, it's the Bosch ones, but Golby gave them to me. Golby hookups. Golby hookups. So you got your fuel pressure, your oil pressure, your other oil pressure, your tire pressure, your cabin pressure. Pretty much. <laughs> it's all in green. Basic green, it's good. Green is nice. Green is nice. Pound at five thousand. That's heaps better. stopping but I was at 23 pounds. 23? I didn't rev it yet until 290. Look, look at, look at, at least. Oh, you only got to 250 that time. Game, like. That's um, 23 pound. That's actually the same boost and no. 40 horsepower more than the VL. 24. Yeah, I haven't been rev it yet either. Sorry? 
I didn't unwrap it yet either. Dare I say it, it's actually making more power than the VL for boost. Um, I've only got one thing to say about that. It's coming, mate. <laughs> this is the problem we're going to have, though. 93% injector GD. It's a little bit rich, so I'll get that back a little bit. So you are starting to run out at... Well, you were saying about 24 pounds, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're 10, 9 to 1, so I can lean it out. Yeah, it was getting pretty rich down there. Yeah, 6,800. So 843, eh? Shame. It is. It's a bit of a shame. It'd be a shame to add just a, just a scotch more boost, wouldn't it? It'd be a shame. Yeah, but you can't mean you're out of fuel and stuff. Fuel pressure's good. Stop it. <laughs> Throw some nitrous on top. It's all right. You've got all the extra weight. Like it's far heavier, and then there's the weight of the car as well. So. question we've got to check the entire length of your damn car Same boost on that run? 22. Sorry? Oh, I think it was 22, 23, 22. We're going injector wise. You're getting close to out. Well, it's a bit leaner, so it should be, should have went a bit further. Another what? <laughs> 30, 34 horsepower? <laughs> oh, I'll give it a crack, eh? No COVID. I don't want to do it till it eh? Sorry. Do it. I'm sorry. Do it. I reckon it's got another thousand RPM in it. No, it doesn't want it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> does not want it. The two Jade go there, just saying. It would. All right, 842, here we come. <laughs> you look stressed, Scott. A little bit. <laughs> Pick it up. Holy crap. That's a big number. It's up there. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's that's actually fucking awesome. Hey, my rotor buttons didn't explode. Oh, what's that smoke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! All right, let's talk shit for the people. Injected, injected duty, all of it. Um. Okay, there's a few problems with what just happened. <laughs> Firstly, I went way over the top of my map sensor, so it's thirty something ish pounds of boost. Oh shit! Oh, so you need thirty pound, bro? I didn't mean oh. to. <laughs> it was fucking going for a thousand. It was too. <laughs> nah, it wouldn't, nah, have, got it wouldn't there. have got there. You got 950 out of it. Well, you can't build a thousand horsepower Supra. Ha! Call yourself a tuner. <laughs> oh, it's like 105% 100, injector duty. Yeah? Ouch. That's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, isn't that where they're meant to be? It, doesn't so. that mean like they're all working? <laughs> Yeah, we probably, we probably yeah, should, so not, we shouldn't not, probably do that again. No, I was about to say, so we're not going to do that again, right? My fuel pressure doesn't run out of resolution, so realistically we're all 75 plus 99. So you want up some fuel pressure? No, no, like, I can tell what the boost pressure was based on the fuel pressure. So on the run before, on the run before we got to 23 psi and 92 psi of fuel pressure, and on that run we got to 99 psi. So chances are what we were at 7 psi more than 23, 30 pounds of boost. So I just got to bring it back a little bit. Probably, so probably a fair bit actually, because we're having to take a while away. The gas. Are you going to spray it? Should. Are you going to spray it? I don't know if I should. No, I don't think we'll spray it. Um, holy shit! <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was out of injection. Mode. It was way out of injection. So it's only got 1,000 in it. So it needs more. It does. Alright, well you made more power than the VLC. You. I didn't think it would, eh? Sorry? Alright, well we might play around with nitrous filling in the middle. I'll try and fill the middle. Try just to bring it bring it up so a bit in the middle. Turn the boost down. So turn it off at like 6,000 kind of thing and... Mm. This thing is easy go a thousand, man. Hey? This thing is easy go a thousand. Oh yeah. Bigger injectors, this thing would smack a thousand. Mm. You know what that means now. Next week on Nugget Tower. <laughs> <laughs> That's coolant system pressure. They didn't lift Cooling it. system pressure. Didn't lift the head. Because you 
have pressures. What was your, have you got seat pressure? What was your seat pressure? Did that, did that like, raise quite like, a bit? I can tell you what my sphincter pressure was. <laughs> <laughs> it was barely holding. <laughs> Go and turn that bottle on then. The pressure's pretty low, but we'll try it. So need a heater. Series. We'll make it start at about 3,000 and then we'll turn off it. Turn it off 50 at what? 5,500 to see where it goes. Yeah. Not even worried. Rich. Oh, a little bit. same size shot? Yeah, I just instead of um, adding the fuel at the nozzle, I'll add the fuel with the injectors so I can control it. Because it's got 75 pound base, I think the, the fuel jet's too big. And if I'm not going to use it to do enrichment while it's under load, because I'm not crazy anymore. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to spray it. <laughs> I was going to use the fuel to add, but <laughs> now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Casual 732 at 140 k's now. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week. That thing has made more power than I it was always want to admit. <laughs> it was always gonna. It was always going to. He said it was all gonna work. Actually, he said it was gonna do everything it's done. 
So, so the waste gate springs made about a thousand revs difference, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it came on heaps quicker. Little, well, no, not heaps, but not heaps, and but. it seems to actually be better, with, which makes sense uh, when the pipes are hot. So if we let it cool down with the fans, it, it's a bit laggy. <laughs> Would I race you? No. Yeah. No. Um, so on that last pull there, I just had a guess at where the boost should be, where it was going to, and I went. Like I told them, the fuel pressure, I went to about 30 pound. Yeah. And I've got a 29 pound map sensor in it, and no boost cut. <laughs> and it was 105% injector duty. Fuel pressure was good. Air fuel ratio was good. But I couldn't stay on it because I've seen the AFR trending upwards, and yeah, it, it, was, it shouldn't was have horrible. been doing that. Um, so it's out of stuff. So there's no reason why that thing won't go 1,000 horsepower, 8,500 revs. With more injector. With more injector. And but sensor stuff. I kind of limited myself to those injectors at the start because the gearbox has a standard V8 planetary in it, and even if it was going to make more than that, I wasn't going to. No, <laughs> it wasn't going to. <laughs> no. Yeah. So we played around there with a bit with the um, the nitrous there on that, that last bit. We did actually a simulated rolls race because I'm going to take it to rolls on Saturday night. Yep. So well, she's going to film, so you can try see that it. next week. She went there. So I won't be there. Um, so I was wide open throttle at 50 k's an hour, which is the start speed, put the nitrous on, had a guess at the fuel ladder and it was spot on. Yep. I don't know how that happened. It actually... And then I actually did a gear change on the dyno and it had, so I short shifted at 6400 and it had 732 horsepower by 140 k's an hour. That's... So it's going to work. That's, that's yeah. pushing some steam. And I short shifted and that was the nitrous turning off at 5500. It's, it's, it's going to be quick. Hmm. I'm actually... Actually, I'm a I changed, little bit worried. <laughs> I changed out all the COVID pressure sensors with those Bosch ones, and they all work. And the coolant pressure yeah, was perfect. Yeah, is it, did that the other one you were looking at, was it failing, the fan one? The no, fan um, one? I made accidentally switch the don't turn the fan on um, oh. when the engine's not running. Oh, okay. So I was trying to cool the trains down with a fan that wasn't going. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Right. Well, that makes sense. That seems to be the only problem this thing's having. It the transmission gets fairly hot, fairly yeah. easy. Which is power glide stuff but anyway. Once it's moving through the air, yeah, it'll be it'll fine. Be fine. Yeah. So the end, of it, it it actually works. It does. Yes. Everyone who's going to sit there and say they don't work, will it? Will it? it does. It works. And that's unported cylinder heads, standard valves, standard yeah. rotor buttons didn't turn into. Marshmallows? Yeah. Standard coils? Five, 5 mil factory 25 year old ignition leads. Perfect. Because Toyota. How good is that? Throttle body, manifold. Imagine how much Stop. power it would make actually if we had one of those fancy short runner manifolds. One of ours? Yeah. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe. After I get sick of this stock look, we might look at one of them. It, they, they do work. It it'll will. Yeah, it'll make power to 9,000 then. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. that'll be holy crap fast. Well, be, uh, done well, dude. Pretty happy with it. Mm. I'm going to drive it home. I was going to ask you if you're going to drive it home. Why not? I mean, this is only one beer, so we should be right. One squash, lemon Lem thing. <laughs> How many lemon squashes here? What the hell? I deserve it. It's buggy is all. Hey, good first drive. That'll be your first actual driving it. Home. It's got enough tyre height now, so I won't scrape in the yeah. bump with all my crap. That's what I was worried about. Alright, next week, there may or may not be that thing roll racing. If yeah, not, so then they'll... Um, that'll just know. be a whole lot of dark GoPro footage and me giggling like a schoolgirl. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll stuff. get something. Alright, see, see you then. next week. Operate. Are you doing something for the second time this week on my car? Put that away. Now, see, you know what? Why does it do that? Because I don't do any work and. What, what buttons am I supposed to be pushing to make it stay where I want it to? Use what? What's it doing? Choose the arrow. Oh. Hey, you haven't got the other one on for the microphones. So you fucked it all up already. How hard is it? <laughs> Look at it. It's stupid. It's, it's not look you do this 
How come it works for you? Because I'm not retarded. <laughs> How hard is it? No one cares about your fucking stupid super anyway, making stupid power. That's fucking stupid, but have you seen that power? Nobody cares, dude. Look, <clears throat> it's not bad for an NA1 you said. Use it A80. Stock airbox and stuff. Mm. Must be big cans, eh? Check they've got audio. <coughs> Balls. Yes. Testicles. <coughs> Me.